This tutorial is going to be about creating a motion path from a CV curve and then attaching an object to that CV curve. Start off with create polygon primitives. Uh, for this one, I'm going to create a cone, and this cone is going to represent my rocket ship. I'll just extrude that out a little bit. Mesh, extrude, there we go. Now delete history, freeze transformations, center pivot. And let's create our motion path. Well first let's call this geo underscore rocket. And this can be any rocket that you created in uh, Max or whatever program you want to model in. First, let's go to Create, Curve Tools, CV Curve Tool. You can go to the right view. I'm just going to start out here and click until I create a nice little curve. You can still create it and continue to create in the top view if we want. Let's make it really big. All right. So then hit Enter. And I'll finalize the curve. Let's select our rocket. And rather than holding down C to turn on Snap to Grid, let's just go to the very top here and let's select the button for Snap to Curves. As it's selected, I can move my uh, I can move my object, and once I move it on top of the curve, oh, snap there. So see, it doesn't move now, but once I get on top of the curve. Once I move it to on top of the curve, you can. Could snap right to the object, or snap to the curve. So. Once snap there again, let's just delete history, free transformation, set a pivot. And I'm going to hit Control G on the Geo Rocket, and that's going to put this into a group. So Control G, there's our Geo Rocket. It's in a group. I'm going to select the group and name this GRP underscore. Rocket, group rocket. Also, I'm going to center pivot on this group. Once this, the pivot is centered, I'm going to select the group rocket and then shift select the curve. I could either do it here or select the group rocket. Make sure you select it in the outliner. If you select it here, you're only really selecting the geo rocket. I'm hitting up right now to go up in groups. You see what happened in my outliner? Again, so uh, with the group rocket selected, select your curve, then go to under the animation tab, constrain, motion paths, attached motion path, and we'll click on the options. And all these look good. There's bank included in there. And we're just going to go attach. And again, you can see how it started to turn my rocket. That's just the group of its thick group that got turned. If I want, I can just select the geo rocket and E to go into my rotate. And I'm going to rotate this rocket so that it's pointing. And that very just pointing along the uh, motion path. So now, when I play, it zips along there. Very nice. And again, if you want to hit play, it's actually moving at a nice speed. I think because I already have my option set to 24 frames per second. If it moves really fast, it's because you have to play every frame on. Watch what happens when I have that turned on. Pretty fast rocket, right? So let's uh, slow it down to play in real time. 24 frames per second by one. Hit save. And then actually, let's go into the select that group rocket where our motion path is attached. 
I want to scale this up and see how our, our curve goes from 0 to 1. So I'm going to select these. And again, I'm going to turn these to linear. So now it's going to go at a constant rate. That's what I wanted. You could always start off slow. Maybe I just want this one to have a um, flat tangent. And see how it slows in and then it starts to get gain speed. I'll show what happens to my rocket now. So that's how you attach a object to a motion path. And just to, uh, in case you want to add even more to this, just because uh, the group is attached to the motion path, you can even do create polygon primitives. Uh, you can have pieces flying with it as well. So I'm going to bring this uh, torus I just created. And we'll put this inside of our motion path as well. So I'm going to take this torus. I'm just going to drop it under the group. And then. Everything's going to move along the motion path that's in the group. Two rockets. Must love snapping on. There you go. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with.